Once upon a time, an old heron lived near a marsh. Do you know what a heron is? A heron is a water bird with a long beak and long legs. Herons can catch fish from the water. The heron of this story was old and tired. He did not have the strength of his youth. He wondered how he could feast on the fish without the effort to catch them. He decided that making a crafty plan was the best way to go. The heron suddenly began to cry. A crab popped his head out of the water and asked, Uncle, why are you weeping? What makes you so sad? Wiping his tears, the heron replied, My dear friend, I just overheard some fishermen. They plan to drain this lake very soon and take all the fish in its waters. I am so very sad to know that you will all lose your lives. Oh, this is terrible, said the crab. He ducked into the water and told the fish what was about to happen. All the fish swam to the top of the lake and started calling out, Dear Uncle Heron, you must do something to help us. You are tall and capable. Do tell us what to do. Heron said that he knew of a large lake not so far from this one, and perhaps he could transport the fish one by one on his back. The fish were all willing and hurried out of the water for their journey. Heron, of course, had no intention of taking the fish to any other lake. As soon as he had moved a little away from this lake, he stopped and crashed the fish against a rock and made a meal of it. No one knew of this dastardly plan, so he kept coming back to transport willing travellers. Soon it was Crab's turn. As they were flying toward the lake, Crab began to feel a bit suspicious. He looked down and noticed a huge heap of fish skeleton and bones. He now knew what awaited him, but he did not panic. Using his friendliest voice, he said, Uncle, you must be tired. Shall we stop a while? The heron laughed. Yes, we will stop, as I am planning to crush your head against the rock below and make a meal of you very soon. As soon as he heard these words, Crab used his sharp claws to grip Heron's neck and strangle him to death. When things become difficult, don't lose your heart.